Alright guys, as of my first set of accent lines uh, for the camo, prior to the camo, um, I went ahead and did my machine gray on the wings leading off, uh, much like a picture of the real thing flying in the air that I've got inside, I'm kind of going off of. Uh, I started my uh, elevator there, and I made a little mistake on this elevator, no big deal, so I reprimed it, I'm just letting it dry up, and then I'll uh, do it correctly. So uh, there's the other wing there, so that's where we're at so far. I uh, mainly just got my main line started, um, as you can see, except for that elevator back there. Um, went ahead and got the nose, it's in the picture, it is the same color as the, uh, the leading edge lines uh, in the real jet. So uh, one thing I kind of strayed from is right here on the real one, this kind of came in and blended from this color to this color, and I really just don't feel like breaking the airbrush out on this, so I'm sticking with cans doing my spray-in so uh, you know I just didn't feel like blending that in so I what I did was I just came to this to the line to the final edge and right where I had a seam and the machine line kind of stopped now it does break off that way but where it stopped at the angle I just went straight forward and tapered it off before my intake to give it a little bit of a sharp look to it um, and that's where we're at so uh, I've still got more of the same color to do on more lines um, I've still got to uh, finish the elevator here. I need an accent line going up here. And then, of course, I've got to do this one still. And then I really got to take a close look at the pictures and pull up some more pictures on the, on the rudders because there's several different ways I've seen rudders on uh, uh, X-22s, X-35s, F-22s, and F-35s. So I'm kind of trying to figure out how I'm going to do the rudder. Um, I've already got how I'm going to do the camo decided I'm getting ready to go in and what I decided to, I'm going to go ahead and do is instead of doing like my airbrush methods where I cut very curvy different style and different size templates um, and use it to freehand on there what I decided I'm going to do on this one is I'm going to go ahead and cut I'm going to go ahead and design the the camo that I want to do um, and I'm just going to lay it on there with a little bit of weight around it and that way when I do spray it It'll give me my camo design that I want, but so without taping it down, if I just use weights, it'll give just a halo effect around the camo and just really make it blend in, so that'll look good there. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and template it, not tape it, but weight it down with several weights and uh, go from there. So uh, that's where we're at, guys, right now. Just letting this set up a little bit, and uh, then I'll be on to the next step.